How's it going, y'all? In this video, we're going to go over Final Cut Pro versus iMovie and which one you should be using. I'm going to be going over the pros and the cons of both. So let's jump right into it. So real quick, Final Cut Pro is what it is, a professional level video editing software. And but but believe it or not, iMovie can be used professionally as well. So the TLDR, the too long didn't read version of this video is because it could get really long and I might, you know, nerd out a little bit. Final Cut Pro is what you want to use if you're filming like multi-cam video, switching different camera angles. Uh, it's also what you want to use if you're using it for social media. Final Cut Pro enables you to edit videos in a nine by 16 aspect ratio, pretty much like an Instagram story. So you can do Instagram story, reels, TikTok videos on Final Cut Pro. You can't do that on iMovie. Um, it's only um, landscape 16 by nine, which is most YouTube videos like this one you're watching now. So if you like 16 by nine videos, like and subscribe to this video in my channel. All right. Um, but yeah, let's jump right into the video. So iMovie is free. Final Cut Pro is $2.99. And I'm going to tell you, it's worth it. It's worth every penny. I have been using it since I bought Final Cut Pro in 2015. And I'm so happy that I did. It's one of my best investments because I paid $2.99 one time. I'm not buying it over and over and over again and installing it on my computer um, over and over again because once you have it you have it which is great the beautiful thing about iMovie is that it is made for beginners and it kind of like sets you up to use Final Cut Pro that's I really love that um, the app is not the app is kind of laid out the same so this is iMovie right here and this is Final Cut Pro so immediately what you'll be able to see is I have uh, my Instagram name pop up here. I have a word bubble. I have to subscribe. You know, all of these are customizable in Final Cut Pro. Like you can do a lot of stuff like the word subscribe. I can make it say something else. Hi. Like, you know, I can. And then play it. I can make it say like the word bubble here. I can customize it and just say hello, you know, you could change the colors, you can do so much. Whereas in, I believe in iMovie, you can't really do that. You do have titles that you can, you can add, you can add titles and stuff, but it's really limited. It's limited to just the basic stuff, being able to like put multiple tracks or multiple files on top of a video. Cause I have this video here. In Final Cut, you can have multiple videos stacked. Like if you wanted to just have all of these uh, play, you can have like, let's adjust this here. You can have a video within a video and they all pretty much like go, go at the same time. You can do that. Whereas in iMovie, you can only have two tracks. So let's say if I wanted to paste that and put it up top, it won't let you, you know, it, it, it only allows you to put two tracks on one on top of another. So just two, it's a bit limiting. Um, it kind of stunts your creativity a little bit in Final Cut Pro. I love the fact that you have plugins that you can add third party plugins. So iMovie comes with a specific amount of transitions and effects in Final Cut Pro, you can add as much as you want, as much as your computer can handle. You can add so many transitions, so many effects, so many different types of plugins. It's There's just so many options. Kind of mind boggling. It's you have unlimited possibilities to create. Also check this out. So we're going to um, color grade this image here, but you have this color wheel option where you can kind of, you know, go a little nuts and edit. Another thing that I really love that you can do in Final Cut Pro is actually masking. So I can actually make a part of the image brighter, darker, more colorful. So let's go to mask here 
and we could add a shape mask and I can just make a shape of my face and put this over it. And we can say, Hey, make this warmer, you know, make this, make this side of my, cause I have, I have a light on the, on this side of my face. I can actually even it out a little bit. So we can go here and say, Hey, make this side brighter too. You know, make it just a little bit, bring out the shadows, you know, see a little shadow We could bring out the shadows and um, we can add a little color there to make it not so bad. This, you can't do this in iMovie. You can't, <laughs> it won't even allow you. <laughs> so, and then I can go a little nuts here and say, let's um, warm up this photo a little bit you know add some dramatic thing here and i could save this as a preset so i can say save preset and then name it and then name it iMovie sucks and then um we're going to let's say we're we're about to film another video um we're doing batch recording content and i'm going to drag this same oh, video from earlier video. And what I'm going to do is look for my preset. So I have created a preset. I'm going to go into my um, panel here for the effects and then type in iMovie sucks. And these, this effect, and it'd be the same effect from earlier. It's pretty dope. It's pretty phenomenal. Okay, let's try to do some color grading in iMovie. We'll check it out here. Some of the settings here for the iMovie. So in iMovie, we'll be able to adjust the saturation, you know, make everything pop a little bit. You can adjust the temperature. You know, you could adjust the shadows, the highlights, all that. And it does a pretty good job. You know, it's it's doable. Like, it's not, not doable. It's just limiting in so many different ways. So pretty much Final Cut Pro is your best option for color grading, getting like very intricate video editing styles and effects and presets and saving time. Once you create a preset and you're shooting batch content, the same content in the same room, you can just apply the preset without, you know, editing too much, uh, wasting time and color grading and whatnot. Final Cut Pro just is really fast. You can edit really fast. You can save so much time. iMovie, it's great. You can do really good editing. You just have to take your time and you have to be very thoughtful. You have to be very methodical in the way that you shoot, especially if you're gonna be using it a lot. So once you create a workflow, I'm pretty sure you can create fantastic content. But honestly, there are no wrong answers here. If you want to use Final Cut Pro, get it. It's great. But if you want to use iMovie because it's free, get it. Both are great options. Me personally, for where I'm at in my content creator career, I use whatever. I use CapCut. I use InShot. Most of the time I'm using InShot on my phone. InShot is not on the Mac. I really wish it was because I really love using it. But Final Cut Pro is when I'm editing YouTube videos, you know, podcast for clients. But if I'm just doing some quick TikTok video, a quick YouTube short, I'm using an app on the phone. Um, iMovie sometimes, but some but most of the time I'm using InShot. Hope you all enjoy this video. If you did, please comment down below, like and subscribe and let me know which app you'll be using. All right. I'll see you in the next video. Peace.